What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover episode 41. Like I said, called The Water Girl Grows Up. Last episode, we are having some training to get ready for Noel to get us down into the underwater temple. But Asta and Noel that were doing some training heard this girl singing and then we saw we came across her. So we're going to see what's going on with that. So we're just going to not waste any time. Jump right into it. Remember, if you guys want early access four episodes ahead or full length, check out the Patreon down below. Always is available to you guys. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post. Make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Follow me on all my social medias at Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys. Let's hop into this Black Clover episode 41. <laughs> Talking about eating pudding. That's fucked up if he put his name on it. That's uber fucked up. Singing is fire, but the bubbles around her are also interesting. I wonder, is she a water magic user as well? Okay, look at all the sea life. <laughs> Asa's amazed. We're getting like a whole song. It is very ethereal. That's a good term to describe it. Oh, so she's, yeah, not what I imagined at all. Kahono. Stupid stuff. Vocal training, huh? A singing, dancing, magic using idol. Eh? I see. She wants to be a pop star. Makes sense. Hey, fair dream. Respectable. Oh, you, hey. Money is very important. Asa would know that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What do you mean? He's been training. Song recovery magic, healing lullaby. She has song magic. That's interesting. Interesting. Recovery lullaby. Imagine you got done working out, you're so sore, and someone can just sing for a couple of seconds, and you're right back and at him. That's awesome. Oh, I was about to say, that's hilarious. It makes sense. Or not. Yep, no, she really wants, yep. She is going to do very well in the noble realm. She will... <laughs> she'll make it. Damn royalty. Hmm. I wonder what she's gonna think of us going to the underwater temple. Yeah, right? Training. Oh, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get it on. <laughs><笑> Hmm, all right, let's see what she thinks. See, it's so massive. 
She has such powerful magic, she just can't control it. Okay. True concentration comes from a calm heart. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, they were horrible from the jump. I mean, obviously they're in the wrong for blaming because she had no control, no power over that, but... I understand you'd be upset that your mother died, obviously, but it's it's her mother too, you know. Yeah, the the whole the whole family memory is not gonna work. Nice, help her out with the recovery magic. <laughs> So everyone's having a decent good time, but Asa and Noelle are training pretty hard. Asa's there for Noelle a lot, I like it. Oh my god, oh my god. That is so horribly sad. I feel so bad, <laughs> oh my god. That is what Kahono said. You're trying to hold it in too much. That is true. That would probably get us down there. That's exactly what I'm thinking. He's nervous that she'll let loose, you know, but... Oh, yeah, well, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, that is exactly the thing. That's so crazy how powerful that is. Asta's like, I will save you if I need to, but you got this. I'm going to give you some time. Pop off. He still believes in her. Aw. We got the whole squad telling her she can do it. Come on. Right? <laughs> I like Magnus' words. Thanks for the food. <laughs> yep. You don't have any happy memories. You got you got the whole squad here now. Only happiness from here on out. Nothing but losers, you'll be welcome in. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, and you're with a bunch of losers for like a month, and look how many, a uh, few months, boom, and look how much you already like them. Right? Countless happy memories. I love that. Realize what you got right in front of you. And you got your... That's my boy. Use your love of Asta. Here we go. New spell inbound. Whoa! This is a very creation magic. Sea Dragon's Cradle. That sounds fire. This is definitely a time in which a spell could be developed. Oh. Hell yeah. Hey, she, she's beat. She's exhausted, you know. <laughs> Didn't Finral say he was going to catch her, though? <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious.
Hmm. I am wondering why she left. I'm curious about her. I love how Yami always says that. Surpass your limits. See? Yeah, that's why she said in the... T yeah, I assume she was from the temple with Song... Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Well, I do personally believe Kahono is a nice, caring girl. I was a little worried when she was disappeared there at the end there, but then we saw her again. But I will say, because she's from the temple, she comes up here to sing because she likes the training. I'm getting huge Little Mermaid vibes. And with uh, what looks to be her brother or a male character sitting beside her in the opening, my reactor's prediction slash assumption would be that hmm, that like her dream of being a pop idol, of being, you know, all that is not accepted down here in this underwater temple slash lifestyle. And so she's meant to be a guardian of that of something. I don't know, I have no idea, but I'm assuming it's something under that umbrella and that her brother is going to be the more stiff one. I'm a, I don't even know if it's a, I'm just we'll say we'll say the other guy. The guy is going to be the more strict one and be like, no, this is not you're not coming down here. I mean, obviously, the underwater temple is going to have some sort of protection. She knows about it. She said, I'll meet you down there. So I'm some shit's going to go down. But overall, fun episode. I love seeing Noelle realize how much she actually has, how many friends, how many people actually care about her. So good to see she developed this new spell, the Sea Dragon's Cradle, I'm pretty sure it was called, which is awesome. It's just like the Sea Dragon's Lair, except instead of being like a bubble meant to protect you from hostile attacks, this one's more of just a cradle used for utility maneuver, it looks like. I can't really see where you would use this in like a battle maybe we'll use this sometime I, i'm i i'm excited but i was super pumped by this episode and i enjoyed it very much hopefully you guys did if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below check out that patreon if you guys want early access full length all that jazz i will see you guys in this next one peace out dapper squad have a great day